Today's challenge is all about organizing your sales data into 10-day intervals, starting from January 1st, 2024. Let's walk through it step by step. Click on the Data tab, select From Table Range. We are going to add an index column, which is simply a sequential number that will help us later group the sales values. Why do we need an index column? This index will be key to dividing the rules into the 10-day intervals as it gives us a way to count the rules. Choose Index column from 0. Why from 0? Starting the index from 0 instead of 1 makes it easier to divide the rules evenly. Now each row in your table has a unique number starting at zero. This will be the foundation of our grouping. Next, we'll calculate which group each row belongs to. This will break the data into groups of 10 rows each. First, go to the Add Column tab, click Custom Column. In the formula box, we'll use the number integer divide function. Here's how it works. The first argument is our index column, which we just created. The second argument is 10, which is the size of our group, in this case 10 rows for 10 day intervals. Number integer divide takes the index and divides it by 10, discarding any remainders. This ensures that rows from 0 to 9 are assigned to the first group, rows from 10 to 19 to the second group and so on. But as you see, we need to add plus 1 because we want the group numbers to start at 1, more intuitive for humans. And now you'll see a new column labeled group, showing which 10-day group each row belongs to. We are almost there. Now let's perform a group by operation to sum the sales values for each 10-day interval. Here is what to do. Click group by. In the group by window, set the group by column to group. This is the custom column we created earlier. For operation, choose sum. Finally, set the column to sum as sales. Under new column name type total sales, this will be the summed sales values for each group. Click OK and your sales data is now neatly grouped into 10 day intervals. And that's it. This technique is flexible and can be easily adjusted to group data every n rows, no matter what kind of intervals you need. And now you know how to do it. See ya!